Stride is an extreme sport that combines parkour, free running, relay, and sprinting is what made the first year high school student Nana Sakari in Rowan Hano Academy after being captivated by the school stride team. Sharing the mutual tension of joining the team, his fellow first year and stride maniac Takiro Fukujiwa, and together they request to join. Much to their dismay, however, the stride club is no longer active due to the lack of members, and now they operate under the Shoji Club. In order to revive the stride club, Nana and Tyra recruit first year Riku Yamaki, a fast runner who is interested in almost every sport. With the new team, the club now aims high at the new goal, to win the prestigious end of the summer competition and bring the Hano Strike team back to their prime. This anime has about 12 episodes, premiered January 5th, 2016 to March 22nd, 2016. Based on popular visual novels, genre is sport, theme is school, duration of each episode is 20 more minutes, and it's rated PG-13. Now let's get started into the review. What I like about Princess Strike Alternative is that it takes the element of like track running and parkour and makes it together. Hence the title, like Stride or Strider and Progressive. And when it did come out for the new winter show back in like, uh, what, what year was it? Like mm, 2016, like around the edge, like 2015, 2016 transition between that period. I think what's really interesting about this sport anime is like, it kind of gives the feel of like, Taking parkour to like a whole new level, but you just throw in the parkour like the middle of like the high school or like roads and like sex them off so like you don't so like people don't get hurt. But in this concept, I feel like you know the show it's a very simple plot. Shape four, famous high school known for like this parkour com combining you know, track and parkour sports, and they need a thing to see what like five or sixteen members to do pair off against other runs from different schools, and that's the rivalry it sets in. I think. Overall, what Princess Try Alternative is like, it's a newfound show that try its best to be set apart itself from, you know, other sports anime. Since it is based off of a visual novel, probably took some key notes from its visual novel counterpart and try to transition that and translate that into an anime adaptation of it. Now, with that being said, I feel like, you know, with the competition of parkour, you know, really introduced to the first character in like the standard fashion, you know, gets introduced to, you know, parkour and, you know, one one character gets his friend from one sport they are initially good in and to another sport where they excel at, which is frankly remarkable if you ask me. And with the cast of characters here, especially with the main girl and like the way like right side of the corner that highlighted in pink on your screen, like she's more like the coordinator or coach or like the leader to lead them through their courses to get a bit of her role. While the rest of the guys here and except for the gentleman on the left wearing the glasses, is like their advisor also leader. Like these two will head off the tag team, like a relay race where they will hand, like basically pass the baton to the next runner so they continue the race until they reach their last runner. Which I think is very interesting, but they're also a very, not really dark history towards it, but I feel like there's a dark incident that is mentioned in the anime that you'll get more induced to later on and introduce to the other characters, find out what their strengths and weaknesses are. And also how they can optimize the weakness and make them better by training, you know, running and optimizing the course. And then every second they get, they have to run, basically. Their their advisor makes them run to the hotel that, that, they, that we say now. And also, before they rest, they should, and more important, don't injure yourself. They mentioned injury a lot. And I feel like injury is the kind of setback for them, especially in the sport they're particularly playing. And so there's a constant re re repetition of the word and the phrase, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt yourself. But I think also with that, the art style is very colorful, it's bright, so you, your attention is visually drawn into when they're running to the intro of the outro song. It's visually appealing, visually striking, and the aesthetic is obviously there because the whole point and reason is them is running. But overall, the parkour anime is very interesting. You know, it, it does focus more on family dynamic, not family dynamic, more friendship and sportsmanship dynamic, which I thought was really interesting, the key factor here. And I also just think the taking in parkour to a, new, to a new level that we just haven't seen before, which I thought was very interesting. Here's them like probably training for running again to help more with their endurance and running more of a long distance in their sport, which I thought was very fascinating. But definitely check out Princess Try Alternative if you haven't already. I really thought it was interesting. I give this like a 6.8 out of 10. I really wish they could like, you know, flush the kid out more and to see more like the personality and background history. But with the first season that they was given, I think they did a good job so far. So definitely check it out. If you haven't seen it, let me know what you think. But until then, I'll see you next time for another anime review. Until then, bye-bye.